Compliance is a key factor for every third-party risk program. These rules and regulations change as their respective industries evolve. Maintaining due diligence can become immensely time-consuming. The HIPAA compliance is one of the most crucial rules for the healthcare industry. How would I use portfolio risk findings to make sure the third parties in my portfolio are compliant? Yeah, I think that's a great use case for this tool. So similar to what we've looked at with other framework selections, you'd simply go to that menu and select whichever compliance framework you're interested in taking a closer look at. So if we want to see how your third parties stack up against the HIPAA compliance requirements, you would simply select that framework and it will map your third parties who have an assessment completed and delivered available in your account. And it'll also supplement the third parties who have not completed an assessment yet. So what you're getting is 100% visibility across your third party portfolio within this framework and you don't have any blind spots now. So you can see, for example, 04 has no coverage for the HIPAA framework requirements. Vanguard is doing a little bit better, but still not great. And you can click into that and see exactly where they're gapped. So the controls that you're seeing in this list are HIPAA framework controls, and you can read exactly what it is that they're gapped on. And as you start to go down, you'll see more coverage as the list is stack ranked from least covered to best covered within that 50 riskiest as well. So this will just give you a little bit more information to again understand where the gaps reside, and you can click into their vendor profile page from here to understand exactly what those gaps tie to as far as what vulnerabilities or use cases that make them susceptible to and how that might impact your organization by working with them. The level of detail provided through portfolio risk findings is required to make confident decisions impacting any third-party risk management program. Gary, what would be some of the next steps for risk professionals? What an organization will want to do after identifying potential control gaps using portfolio risk findings is develop a plan of action to go address the critical and high-risk deficiencies. Using a tested and predicted capabilities in the platform gives you a uniform blend of visibility across your entire portfolio. Beauty of the portfolio risk findings capability is that it brings together three of our best features in the platform. Number one, it utilizes auto inherent risk. And when you're talking about compliance, you really want to be able to identify those third parties that have access to your most critical cyber assets. And that's already baked into portfolio risk findings. Uh, when you're thinking about something like HIPAA, you'll want to be able to make sure and identify third parties that are at the intersection of control gaps and your sensitive data. And PRF does exactly that. The other feature that PRF brings to the table is Framework Mapper. This allows you to approach your risk program based on risk and threats and make compliance a byproduct. Um, the third feature is predictive risk intelligence. And this is that portfolio-wide smoothing that we have that allows you to fill in those gaps when you don't have attested assessments. Because of our data standardization and structured data processing, it allows our customers to see every single third party in their portfolio in a uniform way and avoid misinterpretation. Once the plan of action is developed, then the customer can go and start to engage with their third parties and develop a remediation plan. To learn more or request a demo, visit cybergrx.com.